And we're standing here on um, Huna Totem land. Um, further upstream in this watershed, there's Forest Service land. And um, you know, similar to the mission of this project, we're, we're looking, at, looking at it from a, a whole collaborative watershed perspective. Um, if we can get things functioning here, they'll be functioning all over the watershed and hopefully have some, some uh, better outcomes for everyone. And in short, we're trying to accelerate the natural recovery of the system uh, due to historic logging practices. My name is Neil Sickert. I work for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Habitat Restoration Program. I'm here providing support to the Huna Indian Association for this project here in the tributary of the Upper Spasky River. And I'm KK Preshin. I'm a hydrologist with the Forest Service. I've been working with the Huna Native Forest Partnership on uh, streams and restoration and road work here in the Spasky watershed over the last couple of years. And we're doing some restoration. This particular stream channel um, is um, kind of a floodplain channel in nature. It's really high value for, for fisheries and, and wildlife. And um, we've had timber harvest on the banks of this channel and possibly across the channel. And we just figured that this channel was probably not functioning at its full potential in its condition right now. And we're here to try to restore some of the functioning condition that, that may have been lost over the last 30 years or so. Ricky Contreras, it's my second year doing the Huna Native Forestry Partnership field work. I'm Jeremy Johnson, uh, it's my second year working with Huna Native Forestry Partnership. Hi, I'm Philip Sharkley and this is my fifth year working with the Huna Native Forestry Partnership. Derek Barton, um, my third year with the Huna Native Forestry Partnership. Our, uh, our project here at the upper tributary Upper Spaska is uh, stream restoration at the moment and uh, so far uh, throughout our data collecting we've uh, determined how much wood is in the streams and, and we're uh, realizing that there are some locations that can use some help meaning that they need more wood in the stream to create hydrology to uh, form different riffles and different pools and these are different habitats for for salmon spawning and rearing in our, our river here. So. I think it's also important to note uh, that it's not just in-stream work that's occurring in this watershed. There are quite a few wildlife treatments that are being applied in terms of thinning and gap treatments into the existing forest stands. Uh, those are intended to improve deer habitat, improve stand diversity, and improve the forage base for, for most of our deer. Oh, slot treatment? Uh, it's for um, deer habitat, bear habitat. Um, habitat, the slots are good, it breaks down faster so the deer can walk through it easier. And we will too when it breaks down. We do plan to cut more trees to get more light on the ground, but in the places we did pull trees, there's already light, more light coming through than there was. Yeah, I'm pretty interested to see what the second two years do. It's going be um, nice. You know, if this continues to work, then maybe they find more spots that the stream needs help. Because there are, there are a lot of spots where the logging take, takes out all the natural wood that ha has a chance to fall into the stream and create these habitats for fish.